Hello and welcome to the Football History Boys on YouTube. Now today we're going to be doing a special episode looking closely at the World Cups from 1994 all the way to 2022. Now we've chosen those specific tournaments because they're the ones that have been played since we've been alive. So I think it's only fair that we rank ones we've actually seen. Now we're using Tier Maker to do this. So we've got five different tiers. We've got Out of This World, Excellent, Good, Average and Poor as our rankings. And the eight different tournaments are USA 94, France 98, South Korea and Japan 2002, Germany 2006, South Africa 2010, Brazil 2014, Russia 2018 and finally the most recent of all, Qatar 2022. So without further ado, let's get stuck in and see what we're going to rank these. Any Before we get started, is there anything that you think is going to be at the top of this list? I think it's an interesting one because a few of these probably maybe we'll misremember because of the stage of life we were at. Yes. Um, so maybe publicly there won't be as, as much of an acclaim for some of these tournaments. Mm -hmm. But you bear in mind when, when we got into football, when we were obsessed with football yeah. and things like that. So it's going to be quite interesting to relive some of these. And if you've got your own ideas, please give us a try. There's a link to it in the description below. Let us know. Send it to us on Twitter. That'd be amazing to see. So 1994 to start with. Now, we were only one year old for this, so yeah. we didn't see much of it, but we have seen lots of footage. Yeah. Started off with Diana Ross's yeah. penalty and Famously. ended with Roberto Baggio's penalty. So two penalties to start, two missed penalties to start. Bookend. Um, big tournament, USA, a lot of rule changes. They had the three points for a win for the yeah. first time and also the pass-back rule was yeah. put in place. So they tried to eliminate bad football, which yeah. they've seen a lot of at Italian 90. yeah. yeah. Uh, some big moments happen in the tournament. Obviously, Brazil win it. Where do you rank it? I think, again, like you said, we didn't see it. We were one years old. Mm -hmm. But I think it's so significant in terms of, again, the growth of the game, the global game, the USA hosting it, uh, that famous you know Rose Bowl stadium with so many yes, people Yes, of there. course, yeah. Huge. Um, I, I don't know, quality-wise, where would you put mm. it? I think it is probably a, a, you know towards the higher end of football for people I who remember so as well. When you talk to, to people who were there, to, to yeah. our dads, to people like that who saw it, mm -hmm. they loved this tournament. And importantly as well, you know it's about the Rose Bowls. Obviously, later on it gets used for the 1999 Women's World Cup as well. Yeah. The final there has you know, huge crowds. Yeah. And I think this tournament, and then later the Olympics in 1996 in Atlanta, really is what, you know show what America could do and obviously yeah. the women's game then yeah. is grows from that moment as well um, they'd obviously won the World Cup in 91 as well um, I think this set a really good precedent for football soccer sorry in yeah. the United States of America yeah. it's after a strong legacy it's very popular with people who watched it um, maybe in the good tier let's put it in good we yeah. didn't see it so let's put it in good it's going in good <laughs> okay right let's go to France 98 this is the first 32 team tournament yeah won by france that rainbow team as they're called all these players who come from you know different heritage they beat an amazing brazil team in the final yeah. with ronaldo yeah. um of he has that Story final did, yeah. moment the doesn't he heart scare with ronaldo as well you know yeah. would he play he did play despite this this worry that he was going to you know, he collapsed off the pitch yeah and um, lots of stories and obviously then the story of zidane the mm -hmm. homegrown talent isn't it but from algeria <laughs> Yeah, and he buries two headers in the final. Yeah. Um, I think people watching this video will be really going for this as one of the best tournaments. Yeah. My member we were only five this time, but my yeah. brother was obsessed with it. He was yeah. about ten. Um, when I watch footage back, so the Michael Owen goal, isn't it? He's got the he's got his Argentina. Yeah. Has yeah. the Beckham red card. Has the card. the Burkamp goal against Argentina yeah. to win it in the last minute. Oh, it is a good tournament. I think it's class. Isn't it's it? probably excellent. We we can't put it out as well because we yeah. we don't remember it. But from what we've heard, uh, from what we've seen, from what we've written about, I think it's an excellent tool. I think a lot of people watching this will, will be putting this in the yeah. out of this world tier. Yeah, what a tournament! I think just that it, off the top of my head, that that Burkamp goal. Yeah, it's just that's it's a, ridiculous. That's and the commentary, the stadiums, it's a great tournament. Right, let's move on. This is where we're in. First we're tournament. in now. We're nine years old. This is 2002 World Cup. I've been watching this a lot. It was on really early in the day for us. Yeah. So you you flick on a bit of CBBC and then, <laughs> then you'd watch a bit of the football. Going into school to watch some of the, the games before the, yes, before the school, school game. Yes, the England game. To watch some of the games. Yeah, England against Brazil, wasn't it? Yeah. It was on really early. 
and they opened the schools up David, everywhere. David Seaman lobbed by uh, Ronaldinho. Yeah, Ronaldinho. Of course, and what I remember vividly watching this was the stadiums. It was all South Korea and Japan had this like technological advancement, and they were just putting it on display for the world. The the mascots were CGI'd. Yeah. The stadiums had the you know pitch that came out went in in Sapporo, uh, the dome wasn't it where Beckham scored that penalty for his redemption. Um, Ronaldo sort of comes back from all his injury worries, yeah, scores eight goals, yeah. his top scorer, scores twice in the final. Germany have this really pretty poor team yeah. and managed to make it to the final. Oliver Kahn is the, the player of the tournament. You have the controversy with Italy, South Korea. It's a good it's a good tournament. What are you thinking? It is a good tournament. I remember as well, you know, this is, as I said, nine years old, telling Dad, right, we need to go and play football in the garden. Uh, after the final, he brings his ankle playing football um, <laughs> on the on the World Cup final oh, day. I remember yeah. that it was a significant day for him. It was a good uh, it was a good tournament. I don't know publicly if people would say it's a good tournament, but for us being yeah, our first a lot ever of goals. World Cup, a lot of goals as well. It's definitely in the higher ranks for me, either good or excellent. I'll let you know. I the call. would go with excellent. Okay, excellent tournament. I can yeah. That. Okay, Jimmy Charles and six. I love this tournament. What are you thinking? Yeah, I did. Uh, I remember Torsten Frings got a lovely goal. Yeah, first game. Yeah. And Lan. Lovely, lovely goal. Um, obviously finished with a headbutt. Yeah. There's I mean, that's what it's remembered by, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Um, this was an amazing... The goal scored this tournament, I think, the, probably the best selection of strikes. Max Rodriguez's goal. Yeah. Joe Cole's lovely. goal. England um, fall out. The, the golden generation. And what's interesting there, that those words, golden generation... This wasn't just England's golden generation. Yeah. This was this was football's golden generation. Yeah. This yeah. was Italy's best squad ever. Brazil's best squad ever. I mean, yeah, Brazil had, I think, three or four Ballon d'Or winners mm. in that team. Ronaldo, they had um, Ronaldinho, Roberto Carlos, Robinho, it, the Kaká. The list went yeah. on, didn't it? Yeah. Germany had a good team and they were hosting. They weren't fancy, but they came on strong. They had youngsters like Podolski and Schweinsteiger. Yeah. We had... Spain had their, their players as well, didn't they, with um, Torres and David Villa and Iniesta coming through. It was a, a tournament of pure spectacle. The group stages are amazing. However, the goals did dry up. Yeah, they did. In the Definitely. last 16. And I think that bumps it down a tier. And the cards came out. Yeah. 16 yellows and four reds that in that one game. Like Headbutts in the final. Yeah. I agree. I think it drops down as a result yes. of... How the last sixteen and the knockouts dropped in terms of the quality of the matches. Everyone was too yeah. scared to lose, weren't they? Right, moving on. Two thousand and ten, a revolutionary World Cup. This was the first one and yeah. only to this date to be held in Africa. Yeah. Controversial Good decision. Songs. Good oh, songs. If this was the song list, out they'd be out, be beyond out this Shakira, world. Shakira, yeah. Waka Waka, uh, waving flag waving as well. Flag with Kanan. Really, really good songs. But there's a controversy before it starts. South Africa probably didn't win the World Cup. Mm-hmm. All the stuff has come out since with Seth Blatter and all yeah. the c- corruption. Yeah. And Morocco were probably the winners of the original bid because it was going to be an African, t- uh, African nation. South Africa win it. It's symbolic for them, of course. Nelson Mandela, um, you know, just for 15 years previous. The Vuvuzela. <laughs> yeah, I mean, set free and the Vuvuzela's come out. It's a loud World Cup. It's a colourful yeah. World Cup. Is it any good? A couple of big moments. The Shabalala goal for South Africa. In the opening game, in yeah. In the opening game. And that famous bit of commentary from Peter Drury. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, I think we, we reminisce on it as a great World Cup, maybe because we were 17 and football was everything to us then. Yeah. But as a, as a whole, when you reflect on it, I think it probably is in, probably in, the, in the average category, really. I yeah, average I mean, average to poor for me. I think the actual fo- Jab- Jabalani, the Jabalani, obviously some 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 interesting goals because they made some good goals. Diego the Forlan, ball. wasn't it? Um, however, yeah, it, it maybe not the best football. Um, I was happy for Spain because I really liked that Spain team, but but in reality, it wasn't the most exciting football. Lampard's ghost goal as well, which is significant for football. I that mean, that ghost moment, goal is massive because it pushes. Blatter to acknowledge that we need goal line technology, which is obviously an absolute mainstay. In and then football. VAR as a yeah. result after that, isn't Eventually, it? Eventually, yeah. Right. 
So I'm I think the go impacts with push it up a little bit, but average in terms of the quality on the pitch. Average. Okay, we're going to be yeah. average. Um, okay, fair enough. Right, 2014 World Cup, Brazil. Oh, what a this, World for Cup. me, was a tournament that... 2010 World Cup happened. It was quite negative, the football. Not many goals. I was a bit worried about what the World Cups would be like. Would they all be the same? However, no, they weren't going to be the same because Brazil 2014 yeah. was a ridiculously good tournament. Yeah. yeah. What were the standout moments for you? Oh, for me, uh, we had just graduated university, or just finished university, not yep. quite graduated yet. The summer we finished university, we had nothing to do. And so my aim was to watch all 64 <laughs> Every games. Every single game, at least and a bit of it. I think I watched 62 possibly out of 64, because obviously some of those last group games run simultaneously. So mm-hmm. I split screen in it, yeah. like that. It was amazing. Nothing to do other than watch the football. There's a load of Brazilians in university with us. So I watched that game with the Brazilians, the Mexico game, uh, and they sung their national anthem and it was mind-blowing. It was just moments like that. Brazil mm-hmm. taking football back to Brazil where they didn't win it previously in 1950 this oh, was a whole redemption yeah. this was yeah. Neymar the poster boy can they turn this around what happened in 1950 against Uruguay can they win the World Cup on home soil and it looked like that was going to happen yeah I, and they uh, the momentum was in their favour really wasn't mm-hmm. it the momentum was in their favour they'd won a lot of games then Neymar gets injured in the quarter yes. final against Does back, doesn't he? Colombia in a really feisty brutal, game brutal brutal game brutal him, match yeah. football. I mean he shattered his, his part, of the, part of his back wasn't he he fractured part he of his was, back he was yeah and obviously Colombia had been the standout team, really, with Hamas yeah. Rodriguez, and they, they, oh, they oh, came from amazing. nowhere. The kit yeah. was amazing. Yeah. But semi final day, Germany come into town. Unbelievable. It's Unbelievable. the Maracanazo part two, not in the Maracana. Yeah. Um, what a game. Yeah. 7 1. Yeah. I mean, you just say 7 1 to a football fan, they'll say Brazil, yeah. uh, Brazil, Germany. Yeah. Unbelievable it, match. Um, it, it drew everyone in. I took a, a non football fan to watch that semi final in the pub and, yeah. and he couldn't believe what he was seeing 5-0 five, five after half an hour 29 minutes <laughs> 29, like, Kadiri, wasn't it? 29, this is yeah. ridiculous how is this happening in a, in a World Cup semi-final in Brazil with all the build up with all the hype around it and they, they just collapsed and I think I think Brazil um, sorry I think Germany were being kind to Brazil in that game because I think yeah. they could have been double figures easily because yeah. their goals they score were so easy they all look the same it's just like cut it back and just tap it into yeah. a goal um, like like classic FIFA goal, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what a tournament! Uh, incredible, incredible stuff. The final was good. It was one 0 but it was a good game. I was gutted for Messi. Messi lost. The I final. was devastated. I really wanted Messi to win. That I thought final. that was his. I thought that was his yeah. last chance as well. I had Germany in a sweepstake. Uh, Germany sweepstake, oh, and, and it was, I mean, it did help a bit. The fifty. I think I had. Was, um, but guys have career, so but it, it still was rubbish because I wanted Messi to win that World Cup. Yeah. I wanted Messi to win it. Right. I'm gonna think. I'm thinking it's out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of people would agree. Context-wise, 21-year-olds with nothing to do. It was amazing. Perfect. Uh, but even so, I mean, it was a brilliant tournament. Brilliant colour and everything like that in Brazil, wasn't it? Okay, right. Moving on to what I call the two sports washing World Cups. 2018 and 2022, easily the most controversial choices for yeah. hosts. Yeah. At the time, it was like, huh? Yeah. There were some really strong bids who were bidding for it. But those two were given it the same day, wasn't it? Russia 2018 then. Now, the the talk before it was all very negative. It yeah. was all saying, you know, it shouldn't be held here, and probably rightly so. However, they ever thought the football would be hindered as a result, but it wasn't. The football's quite good at this tournament. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Quite a, I, I think it was quite a good tournament, and I think it, but I think it's been forgotten a bit. It's always remembered for VAR as well, isn't it? It's the VAR World yes. Cup. Yes, but VAR was really good at this World Cup. Yeah, it worked really I mean, we've well. We've come back to this a couple of times on podcasts and things like that we've done. That mm-hmm. VAR actually, as it worked, and as people first saw it, they quite liked it. There was a lot of VAR stoppages because they were learning how to use it, but it was brilliant and, and, and it yeah. worked well. I mean, there was a couple of famous incidents where people complaining on the pitch, players complaining on the pitch even, wasn't there? But bit, bit of confusion. Commentators didn't know what was going yeah. on, did they? Um, standout moments in the tournament. Of course, the final was pretty good, the 4 yeah. 2. Um, France obviously winning it in the, in the pour of rain. Goals. Um, Pavard's goal oh, yeah, stunning. Or... behind the ball looking at it that's a lovely finish isn't it yeah it's a good tournament but you know I'm just, I'm, just, I'm struggling a little bit to remember massive moments from the yeah. tournament yeah yeah Messi scored that goal didn't he against Nigeria which is quite a big moment oh tell you what Ronaldo's hat-trick against Spain yes opening opening yeah. game wasn't it opening day um, I think yeah. it's, it's probably not in. it's not for excellent you know no I don't think it's that I think it would be average to good. 
I'd say good. Okay. I, I think it's better than South Africa. Okay. Would you agree? Yep. I'm happy with that. It doesn't have the songs, the other Vivazalas. No. But it did have better football and, yeah. more, and more goals. Right. And finally, we're going to rank Qatar 2022. Again, like Russia, had very negative yeah. um, criticism beforehand. And, and again, probably rightly so. However, the football, again, didn't start off great. No, I remember we had a conversation with Will Cut and I was saying, I'm really struggling to get into this. Yeah. The, the, the football at the start wasn't great. Wales' first tournament since 1958 um, at the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Incredible excitement amongst us Welsh, thinking, this is this is amazing, Wales at the yes. World Cup. A decent draw, you know, think we, we could possibly get yeah. out of this group. I know. Should be getting out of this group, really. Yeah. And Wales it fell ran. flat. And that was horrific. That yeah. was horrific. Not good. Losing 2-0 to Iran, wasn't it? Um, yeah. And then getting smashed away. So I think England. that affects it for me. Because it was the first time I had with, with interest in terms of my team there, my country. Yeah, however, what I remember really well from this World Cup is the last round of group games. Yeah. So many groups were still hanging in the balance and there was chances for most teams to still qualify going into the final round of games, which is, you know, unheard of really. You think of the games like Japan beating both Spain and Germany in their yeah, group stage. It was like, what? How's this happened? You know, they were meant to be going out straight away. But they did it and they performed amazingly and there was some really, you know, edge of your seat matches. Um, and, and I do think... slip really as well, didn't no. they? Their chance. England had a chance at doing it. Oh, England had a massive chance. But of yeah. course, you know, Harry Kane's penalty, I think he's still, yeah. still yeah. travelling up to space. Uh, and obviously France again getting to the final yeah. where this time they meet Messi. Argentina and Lionel Messi who was, if you ever needed to see a World Cup with a man on a mission. Yeah. This is this is it, isn't it? It was his life goal, really, wasn't it? To yeah. That World Cup. And obviously, the big debate is Messi versus Ronaldo. Do they need to win a World Cup to be regarded as best of all time? Messi does it. He scores yeah. twice in the final and a penalty shootout. What a final! Mbappe scores a hat trick in the final, including that ridiculous volley what to equalise the first time. Again, though, a bit like the tournament, the final didn't start off great. No. And it was the final ten minutes yeah. of the ninety. Yeah. And the extra time period, which were yeah. just ridiculously good. Which we'll remember positively, actually, yeah. I think we put a tweet out a, f- a few months ago asking people's best games of all time. And lots of people said the 2022 World Cup final. Which is good to see, because often finals can be quite turgid affairs. one Well, that's another nil-nils. big thing, yeah. Because so many of these World Cup finals actually have been average finals. That was a quality yeah. final. That was a quality final. It was quite a final. And I think that, for me, bumps it up. I would put it maybe in the excellent. I think between good and excellent, I, 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 the finish is what sold it for me. I really did get sucked in. I said I was struggling in the initial group stages, but the knockout stages were excellent. Yeah, I think so. We're going to put it into excellent then. Okay. Excellent World Cup. So are you happy with the tier list? I'm happy with the tier list. I'd like to see what other people think of that though. I'd love to see. So if you really want to let us know, please give it a try. There's a link in the description below. Um, send us your pictures over Twitter. We are... Easy to find at TFHBS. You can also go onto the website, thefootballhistoryboys.com as well to do that there. If you want to send on Instagram too, you can as well, at the Football History Boys. That would be a great thing to do. If you want to see us do these again, uh, for example, for the Euros, um, which are obviously coming up this summer, or for the rest of the World Cups from history, we can do a retrospective look back historically. Please let us know in the comments because I, I like to do it. So if you'd like to see yeah. us do it, that would be amazing. Great. That. Thanks so much for watching.